Juan sneaking up with that purple buff. Looks like a good gank opportunity. Here comes Iggy with the flame belch. Applying lots of damage to Twin Blast. He's trying to get away. That turret's dealing a little bit of damage to FaZe. Casting replay submitted by viewers like you. This is Casting Call. What's up, everybody? I am Mongoose. You were awesome. And this is Casting Call, the series where I cast replays submitted by viewers like you. Find out how in the description below. Today's submission comes to us from uh, Jeshov, Jehovah. I'm not real sure how to say that, but uh, I had to skip over his earlier submission because it wouldn't work anymore, but he was kind enough to send me a new one. In the blue team, we have Howitzer, Rampage, Twin Blast, Wukong, and FaZe. Red team, we have Kwong, Wukong, Morgesh, FaZe, and Iggy and Scorch. Uh, Je Jehovah plays Iggy and Scorch a lot, so this should be uh, pretty interesting. Let's check it out. Morgesh running through the river. Looks like Howitzer spots her, pops her out with a landmine, preventing her escape. Now they're going to duke it out. They're like, st they're staying in melee range of each other. They're all up in each other's business, trying to dodge basic attacks. But looks like Morgash is getting the worst of it. She's going to try and run away. Probably not the best idea. She does take a rocket to the back of the head. That's first blood. Rampage, it looks like he's looking for a gank on the red team's safe lane here. Picks up the boulder, tosses it, just misses Wukong. Now they're both going after Phase, uh, I don't know why he jumped in there, but uh, yeah, it looks like the minions and Wukong are going to take Rampage down. Let's, you know what, let's stop. Let's stop for a second. It's been a while since I've done a learning point, but we're going to do one right now. Missing an ability is fine, but following it up by jumping in while you're at low health and low mana against an enemy safe lane duo that's at full health and full mana under a minion wave is a good way to get yourself killed and possibly even get the offlaner killed if they follow you up on that. I mean, the offlaner kind of jumped in before Rampage did, but Rampage was obviously committed to that. Quan's sneaking up with that purple buff. Looks like a good gank opportunity. Here comes Iggy with the flame belch. Applying lots of damage to Twin Blast. He's trying to get away. That turret's dealing a little bit of damage to FaZe. He's chasing him down. Let's see if he can get an oil spill out. There it is, and he ignites it for the kill. Picks up the kill on FaZe as well. Nice job, Iggy and Scorch. Iggy and Scorch overpowered Epic. Please nerf. <laughs> Wukong, probably one of the strongest split pushers in the game right now. He's working on the mid lane tower. Now he's going to try and use his abilities to escape, and he probably will because he has a shitload of them. Escape abilities, that is. Oh. <laughs> Twin Blast tried to ult him. Ends up just kind of spinning around, throwing some shots in the air when he realizes he couldn't do it. But Twin Blast takes the ultimate from Kwong. They're trying to go back in after him. Curse stabs Twin Blast in the face, takes him down. Howitzer's making it rain. He's trying to take down Wukong. Oh, that dodge! <laughs> but he can't dodge the R2000 rocket. Takes him to the back of the head. However, Howitzer gets burned to the crisp by Flame Belch. Red Team trying to push the very first inhibitor of the game. They got four of them up here. Howitzer is... Well, well he was down. Yeah, he's still down. Well, Morgash going in. She's <laughs> staying just within tower range. Take a shot after shot. She goes down to Rampage. Now, Rampage is trying to prevent this inhibitor from going down. The rock hit Kwong. Wukong's very low. The judgment lands. Kwong is able to take out Wukong, but now he's in a fair amount of danger himself. He's out of line of sight of FaZe, so he can't get pulled. She's trying, but no, he gets mobbed by the blue team. Now it's FaZe is the one that is in trouble. She takes the boulder to her buttocks. The blind <laughs> causes Rampage to go off into a whole other tangent there. That was nicely done. But Howitzer is trying his best to catch up. Lands the mine, pops her up. R2000 rocket. She <laughs> had 16 health. Oh, man. Iggy acting as a distraction here while the red team goes for Orb Prime. Blue team is not fooled. Looks like they're going to invade this Orb Prime attempt. This is going to be a huge team fight here. Rampage ulting up, trying to go after him. Flame Belch is going 
down. Turrets are on the ground. A lot of damage going out. They're circling around each other. The red team was able to pick up the Orb Prime. Now Kwong is going on a bit of a rampage here. Takes down the blue team's Wukong. Let's see if he can catch up with Howitzer and Twin Blast. Immediately catches up with Howitzer and takes him down. Looking to land that Judgment. Very hard ability to land. Twin Blast is dodging around because he knows it's coming. But he can't avoid it and he gets taken down for a full team wipe with the orb prime and minions this is going to be a kill on the core just a matter of time and not much time either as they were uh they ate through that core like it wasn't nothing now i know jehovah i know he's a bit i hope i'm saying that right a bit of a uh a theory crafter let's take a look at his deck wrong button there we go let's see how he has built iggy and scorch so he has a lot of supporting cards. He has Thick Blood. He has the Quenching Scales. Nanoplasm to heal himself up. Uh, Traitor's Touch to deal extra damage to high health targets. Tainted Magic to deal that uh, ticking health-based damage. And Armivore to give himself some mana back. So this is like... Um, he didn't build to be a, a, like a killer assassin. He built to be like to, to support kills. Like to help his team set up kills. Which is kind of a cool idea you don't see that a whole lot maybe that's what iggy and scorch are meant to do in the current meta but anyway before we get to the final segments jehovah enjoy your kill taj In game analysis, the uh, red team just kind of outpushed the blue team for real. They had Wukong and Iggy, who are both great at split pushing and defending their towers. They they damn near won this game without losing a single tower. And I mean, it was under 30 minutes that they won this game in, it just, or, or maybe maybe just over 30 minutes. It was it was close. It was a f <laughs> very very fast game. So good on them for working together. If you want to submit your own replay for casting, check the video description below or leave it in the comments. Leave your replay idea in the comments below or email them to mongoosegg at gmail.com or tweet them at mongoosegg. Make sure you include your gamer tag so I know who to do the killtage for and be as descriptive as you can of the video. And uh, come hang out with me in Discord, linked in the description below. For now, this is Mongoose signing off. You guys have a good one.